y'all. It's CJ and Beston here. And today I just want to do a video covering this article about when inflation was worse. But first, I want to take a look at this video really quick. Welcome back. We are coming off of some of the highest inflation numbers in over four decades. Headline CPI coming at 8.5% earlier this week. PPI, those input prices, up 11.2%. We want to talk about it all with Yahoo Finance's own Rick Newman. And Rick, you're writing about this. Uh, I remember the early 1980s, kind of. I was young. Peak inflation from that uh, period of time, and it was 14.8% back then. So we have 8 right now. So I, I, I would be astonished rates of uh I, I think more than 20. so the headlines about inflation in 2022 report that we have the biggest jump in prices since the early 1980s so what exactly what was going on back then i dug out inflation data from the last great run-ups in prices in the 1970s and early 1980s to see what was similar to what we're experiencing now and what was different the inflationary slog of the 1970s was the worst bout of price hikes in modern times. It began in the 1960s with a flood of government spending on the new Great Society programs in the Vietnam War under President Lyndon Johnson. Federal Reserve policy under President Nixon in the 1970s was too loose for the too long. Adding to inflationary pressures, then came a series of energy shocks that made a bad situation worse. As you can see the charts here, inflation in the modern era. It was sky high in the 1980s. But the highest level of inflation since World War II came in March of 1980, when the annual increase in the consumer index was 14.8%. Inflation is high now at 8.5%, but far from those record readings. The last time it was that high was in December 1981, when inflation was finally on its way down for good. But that was after a prolonged period of consumer pain that coincided with three recessions and drove President Jimmy Carter from the office after one term. Then, as, as now, the biggest Price hikes involve energy. In fact, energy inflation 42 years ago was worse than it is now. The 12 month increase in gas prices in 1982 was 68%. Today is on a mere 48%. The cost of household energy for heat and electricity was up 27% in 1980 compared with 15% today. Russia's bar barbaric invasion of Ukraine and the subsequent sanctions on the Russian economy have contributed to the energy inflation today. But there's nothing new about energy shocks. In 1970s, external shocks included the 1973 OPEC oil embargo related to the Yom and the 1979 Iranian Revolution. Then in 1980, the eight-year Iran-Iraq war began. From 1970 to 1980, the price of oil more than quintupled. The average pump price jumped from 0 .0. well, 36 cents per gallon in 1970 to $2.74 today to $1.19 per gallon in 1980, which would be $4.40 today. In 1973, Commerce Secretary Peter Pearson declared the era of the low cost energy is almost dead. As you can see the chart, that's from then and now. Energy cost, however, may have been more painful 42 years ago than they are now. A typical vehicle in 1980 averaged 16 miles per gallon of gas. Average fuel economy today is 25.7 miles per gallon. A typical driver logging 12,000 miles at $4.40 per gallon was spent about $3,319.80 in today's dollars. If gas costs the same today in real dollars, the same driver would pay $2,054. Efficiency improvements alone would save $1,246 per year, everything else being the same. 
there are a couple of big differences between then and now. Another huge source of inflation these days is new and used cars. Though those price hikes have started to moderate, that's largely due to a shortage of microprocessors resulting from one-time distortions relating to the C pandemic. In 1980, the cost of new vehicles rose by far less than the overall inflation rate and there was no increase at all in the cost of used vehicles. That compares with the double digit increases in the cost of both so far in 2022. We've also seen bigger increases in the cost of food, furniture, and appliances than in 1980. Again, that is probably because of the supply chain disruptions relating to the beer bug, the pandemic. Back then, the cost of housing and rent was rising faster than it is now. Mostly because interest rates were spiking, inflation began to fall fast in the early 1980s as the Federal Reserve Chairman Paul began an aggressive series of interest rate hikes. The Fed this year has finally started hiking rates, hoping once again to tame inflation. As Fed officials surely know, however, his rate hikes caused another recession that began in 1981. Prosperity finally returned a few years later, but that long bout of inflation punished consumers and politicians, both in ways nobody would want to repeat today. So I just wanted to cover that article. It was pretty interesting. Hopefully you learned something, but I hope y'all have a blessed rest of y'all day. Thanks for tuning in once again to my channel. And... I'll see y'all next time. Peace.